Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to work on the focus of this uh, Micronicor 60mm 2.8 and then uh, the problem in this lens is that the ring here is yeah, it's moving really really hard and then it's never getting to the autofocus part and then uh, what I think uh, is happening is that uh, the gearing mechanism which is somewhere in here uh, has jumped probably the lens fell into the ground and then this happened and then uh, we're going to fix that um, and then to do so uh, we're going to open the lens so this is not very difficult so you will notice here that there is uh, uh, four screws here and you only need to remove uh, three of them because one screw I think is this one is it serves to uh, hold the aperture mechanism together so and uh, this is the screw you don't want to remove uh, because you will find yourself uh, just uh, disassembling a stuff for nothing so okay so before that let's remove this plastic part here I have a small box just in front of me to drop the screws in so this is quite practical and then it allows me to put some order into the repair and then what I do next once I have the part removed and just to put everything into the same box okay okay you just saw what I did I took the three screws which hold this part so this is what I just did I removed this part I put it here I have the box here just in front so, and then I will pour I will put each part there so here and uh, the electronics is hold by two additional screws which are slightly smaller than the ones before so I will put that into the same compartment on the plastic box okay okay now I can remove the bayonet so then to do so I have to take three screws here and then as I told you before the fourth screw you don't want to remove it so the difference is uh, you have actually these screws here which are uh, a bit longer and then here just let me put this one for safety So here, if I remove this screw here, you will see it's a very short one. So you don't want to remove the short screw. So that one you keep. And then here, we'll remove the black screw, which is the one uh, which goes into the position here where you and the point where you attach the lens to the camera and then the black screw is just to indicate you that that is the position so okay so we have taken these three screws screws out then we can take the bayonet mechanism out Okay, here we are. I took the full bayonet out. Then we're going to remove this thing here and then this element here. So 
what we want to do now, what we want to do here, is just to reach these three screws here to remove, uh, well, actually to access this part of the uh, yeah of the lens, and then this is the part we want to work on. So and then here there is one small trick that we actually need to perform is just to remove this part here. I need to remove these three screws. Okay, just let me get some tweezers. I am back with the tweezers. And then here, this is the part that is going to be a bit tricky. Because as you will see, I will remove the three screws, which in theory held this part together. And then, as you can see, I'm able to move it, but it's not going to come out. So, and then this is because of this part here, which is the gear. And then here, just let me get a magnetized screwdriver. Otherwise, I think I will be in trouble. this screwdriver and then I want to remove these three elements here well not these three elements just these two screws here and then uh, what I think is happening uh, and you will probably see it once we have uh, disassembled the lens is that the gear is off position so here below there is one kind of mechanism so here yeah, you see this hook here Let's let me zoom a bit uh, this hook here so normally goes in and then this thing should follow and then as you as you saw it came out like really 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 easy so this means there is actually a problem here um, okay but then uh, I need now to remove this part here and then uh, I'm not able to and then what I'm trying to do now here is just to get a position in which I can actually reach the window Okay, so after a bit of struggling, uh, I did what I wanted to do, and then uh, this is uh, popping out this window, and then this is what I was trying to do before. Uh, obviously, you can remove it from the front here, but then uh, you're going to mark the lens around, and then this is not the goal of the thing. And then, uh, so the method I prefer is to, um, yeah to wiggle this thing until I am able to take it out uh, enough for example like here that I have some accessibility to the window and then uh, what I did is I took this brush I just used the brush because it's plastic so it's soft and then it's not going to scratch the, scratch the window and then uh, what I did is just took the thing here and then just push a bit until the window here pop it out so this is one thing this is the thing I wanted to do and then uh, you might ask why I am doing this and then the reason is quite simple here is you have when you do the focusing here you will find yourself in this position here 
well, it's not super good assembly, but then uh, once you're in this position, you will find this little screw here, and then uh, that screw is the one which is not allowing me to take out the rest of the lens. So, what I'm going to do is just going to take one flat screwdriver and then I'm going to take out this guy very small guy actually and then as you will see it's going to be magical when this guy once this guy is out you're able to remove this element here and then uh, you're able to see the mechanism uh, of the of the focusing uh, so here you have the rest of the lens which is uh, yeah working fine so this uh, we're not going to do anything with it so what we're going to take to do is to take a look at this and then here you have the uh, mechanism here so and then if we move uh, okay we see that it is actually able to do the motion and then what this mechanism do as you're seeing here is just changing the position of this ring here and then this ring here is doing two things so it's moving this um, this small hook here so let me try to move that yeah so it's moving it up and down so and then what this thing is doing is taking this mechanism here so this is the gear that connects to the camera and, and then uh, what is doing here is just moving this little element here up and down and then so is uh, engaging or disengaging the gear uh, whether uh, you are in uh, manual or autofocus so here you see they don't move to they don't move together and then if I engage then uh, okay it's not very easy to do okay and then once I engage them so you see they move together and then even if I try to block it they're going to move together so this is uh, the thing which is creating the manual uh, and autofocus thing and then obviously uh, the position was not good so uh, the lens was blocking so this is the this is the little guy who was causing trouble so uh, what we're going to do is to reassemble uh, the thing and uh, just taking care that this guy here goes into the right position uh, and then uh, just uh, for fun uh, the other thing I want to show you here and uh, you have two contacts here so these two small pins here and then uh, these two pins obviously somewhere in here there is one contact here so you have it here so when you're changing the position of the of the pins here so you're moving up so you don't have a uh, electrical connection so probably you're telling the camera and you're working in manual and then here if you go down and um, you have contact so you have a short circuit between these two tracks and then you're telling the camera uh, you're working in autofocus or the opposite but the, this is just the principle okay so we found our problem uh, now everything is going to be uh, rather easy I hope so I just need to take this element here and then make sure that the gear is being put in position and then I have to so 
so far so good and for some reason I'm not able to reach the bottom of the thing here I am I'm in right position I need to find uh, the two screws of the gear oh come on I am not at all in the right position because I have the camera just watching on top okay so I have one screw which is holding the thing in position so now it should be easy at least this is what I hope okay and then my hope is that okay so let's put this one of these screws here okay now I have the thing working and then it's not blocking like before so this is all I wanted to do now we're going to reassemble the lens and this is going to be a rather simple then the last thing we're going to do is to put back the window so here we put the three things then we look for the little guy that was not allowing us to uh, finish the disassembly of the lens so I'm looking for a flat screwdriver here which is magnetized because I need to hold this thing at the same time So hello friends, I had to take over because um, I ran out of battery and then I didn't realize until I was almost over with the lens. So I disassembled and then I'm taking over from the um, yeah from the point it cut. So um, I was telling you. So this is like the most important part and then this is where many 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 people fi fail. I have actually buy like uh, both and uh, like two or three lenses uh, in a bag because people are not able to reassemble or they don't manage to get it right and then uh, so just to avoid that just pay attention to this uh, because the first time it took me really 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 long time so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this ring here and then uh, just next to this ring so first thing you have this uh, small uh, yeah, small lip. Um, I don't know how to call it. Anyway, you have this thing, which is pointing up, so it has to be pointing up, and then here and uh, just next to it, you have this small mechanism here, and then uh, it needs to be in this position here uh, when you're going to put the rest of the lens. Then uh, we put here uh, the spacers here, so this shouldn't be a problem so so this is what you need to see is that this silver part here is below um, this yellow part and not the opposite the, I've seen lenses mounted um, in the opposite way and obviously they don't work uh, quite fine uh, okay so this is the first thing then um, to put the bayonet here you need to make sure that you're going to be in F32 position here so with means with means that here and uh, we're close and then uh, just let me make some room here because this is kind of the tricky part 
So here uh, I have uh, I have to put this in, and then I have to put obviously uh, to pass the connector here. So and then here I just need to be extremely careful because this is the part that always fails. Okay, for some reason I miss it. Ah, shit. Okay, I start over. I don't know what jumped. So I put this part here at the stop here. So I ensure I am in the closest position. And then here I try over again. this here then okay here I'm doing fine okay now it is perfect so what I was paying a lot of attention is that uh, there is like a small hook here on the on the lever part and then if I am getting contact too soon uh, with this small lever that I showed you before the thing is the lever is going to come in this position and then nothing is going to work here uh, we're fine so this is, um, this is the perfect position um, so I can close the bayonet. Then uh, the other thing. Uh, okay, so let me put the screw here. Okay, so this is it. Then I put the electronics here. Well, not the electronics, the connection here. Then I put this plastic part here in position. So here I need to make sure all the screws, all the screw holes are aligned. here on right uh, I just need to put the screws so one thing I wanted to show you is I put the window before that was when I realized um, yeah that uh, I didn't have a battery anymore but then and the way I did it is uh, quite uh, simple so this thing to put it in you have two two small uh, extensions here which goes into uh, slots here so it's very it's rather difficult to put in so what you need to do is and uh, you put uh, one of the extensions in then uh, you push the window you put something something soft yes, um, yeah, so you don't uh, scratch the lens and then you have to put you have to push the window so you're able to bend it so you get uh, this extension into the right position uh, so it gets into partially into the slot and then you remove um, in my case it was a toothpick so you get the thing partially in and then you have to push so this was uh, a bit of a tricky part but then and uh, now uh, the lens uh, yeah the lens is assembled uh, we're doing uh, yeah this was the part and the lens wasn't doing before now it is working and then uh, we're going to test also that the focusing uh, in the camera is actually working. 
okay which is the case so this means the repair is successful so that's all for today thanks for watching and see you next time huh?